I was wrong to think that my life had come to a dead stop in the pandemic. Though I missed my students and the comfort of my classroom, the pandemic changed many things for the better. It enabled me to reach out to far more children, more than I ever could have in the comfort of my classroom. It also made me innovate my pedagogy and content, freeing me from my textbooks, and finally, it taught me that learning is not limited to space or time. Hi I'm Tina, I'd like to introduce you to the wonderful world of Open Educational Resources or OERs, a world built on collaboration, a world that believes that all knowledge must be shared. What are OERs? An OER is any material made, and then released by its creator, either in the public domain, or using any open licenses that allow, for its free use, and repurposing by others. Examples include full courses, course modules, lectures, games, teaching materials and assignments. They can take the form of text, images, audio and video. But releasing open educational resources is not simply about putting, learning, and teaching material online, it involves making these resources available in a genuinely open way. This means you need to apply a Creative Commons license to the material, so that the creator of the resource can let the world know what rights they want to retain, while allowing the users to remix, adapt and distribute the resource once again. It's not as confusing as it sounds. I spent some time this pandemic, creating a series of video blogs for my young students, on the interesting locations in my neighborhood, which were now deserted, and empty. I shot some video, recorded my voice over, did some online interviews. I began my class on geography with my own digital content. I also developed some assignments around these. The students' excited responses to this kind of content pushed me to release my video blogs on a couple of online video sharing platforms as well as teaching sites. I opted for a Creative Commons license, called the CC BY license the most accommodating of all licenses, allowing others to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon my work, even commercially, as long as they credit me, for the original creation. I put the link out in my social media, and also sent it to several geography teachers in my network. Imagine my joy, when I found that, many teachers in different parts of the world, had used my neighborhood videos as a starting point for their own teaching, and had also remixed, and adapted the videos, with their locations and context. But, if I had not clearly put a Creative Commons license to my work, the content, could by default, be considered proprietary and closed. Creative Commons, has six licenses, that we can use, to contribute, to a vast and growing world of digital commons. OERs can change the way we teach and learn, having a wonderful spiraling effect across boundaries.